AT&T mobilizing your world by AMPM. Too much good stuff. And by the Emerald Queen Casino presenting the Motor City Madman Ted Nugent for two nights, August 2nd and 3rd. For tickets, go to emeraldqueen.com. Big wheel and a good-looking site there. Postcard beautiful. We look at two ballparks downtown below downtown here in Soto. Glad you could join us here, Mariner Baseball, as we continue on tonight's pitching matchup. It's a good one. Clay Buckholz coming off the disabled list, and Hisashi Iwakuma is your matchup. Iwakuma had been pitching extremely well, but in his last outing against Kansas City, a bit of a rough one, just five innings. Gave up five earned runs in that one, so he's looking to bounce back here for a home start against a struggling Red Sox team. Mariners did make a roster move this afternoon. And it looks like this, Erasmo Ramirez, option to AAA Tacoma. You saw his numbers, 1-4 and four in a 4-5-8. Brandon Maurer brought back 1-0, three saves down in Tacoma, 2-7-9 ERA. It'll be interesting to see what the Mariners do. They're going to need a fifth starter coming up in the next few days, so we'll see who that guy might be as we move along here. Now the Mariners going for the sweep against the Boston Red Sox. It would be their first here at Safeco Field since 2007 see if they can rack it up tonight things have worked really well for the mariners so buckle up let's see what happens it's the mariners and the red sox first pitch is straight ahead The look from West Seattle will bring you to Safeco Field, where you get a chance to watch one of the hottest teams in Major League Baseball riding a five-game winning streak, six games beyond 500 for the first time this year. We're talking some good baseball as Brandon Maurer signs some autographs here at the ballpark. Welcome to Mariner Baseball, everybody. Mariner's taking on the Red Sox and going for the sweep. As Sashi Iwakuma on the mound, coming off a no decision. A record of five and three, and this will be his third career start against the Red Sox. Here's Brock Holt to lead it off. And he looks at ball one. Great setting here at Safeco Field, 75 degrees, winds calm. 
next pitch in there for a strike. DJ Rayburn behind home plate tonight. Pat Holberg at first. Crew chief Jeff Kellogg at second and Dan Bellino at third. Here's the one one. High. How about the Mariners? Outscoring Boston 20 to 5 in these first two games. Getting the series and now going for the sweep before the Mariners enjoy a home day off tomorrow, the first of April 24th. 2 1. The miss by Holt. Brought two for five last night. Counted for the Boston runs with a two run homer in the fourth. Two two pitch. The outside. I think it's been great to see the offense go, Dave. I think coming into this series, you thought that the Mariners' pitching staff would pitch well against the Red Sox with the struggles that they've had. 13th in average, 13th in runs scored, 12th in home runs. So you figure that that would be a good matchup for them. But the Red Sox pitching came in fourth in ERA in the American League, and the Mariners' offense has really been clicking here at home, which is also good to see scoring runs here in their home ballpark. 20 runs on 24 hits, holding Boston to five runs on 15 hits. Red Sox have left 17 men on. Base and Mariners have stranded the 11. Three and two. Holt down the line. Slicing. That is foul. Take a look at John Farrell's bust. Red Sox batting order for tonight. And he switched it up every day. You have Holt leading off. Then it's Nava Pedroia dropping back to hit third. Again, he was second yesterday. Then it's Ortiz. Gomes getting his first start. Hitting fifth. A.J. Przyski over four. Left nine men on base. Hitting six. Bogarts, Drew, and Bradley rounding out the nine for the Red Sox. Three and two. Holt. Put it in play. Nice easy one hopper to Brad Miller. Throws over to Lomo. Logan Morrison one down. Bray Wakuma five and three record ERA. Jumped over three for the first time. He had five earned runs and in five innings pitch in Kansas City. Looking to get his ERA back down into the two. 71 innings pitch. 52 strikeouts. Only seven walks on the year. Opponents hitting 249 off of Iwakuma. Kuma's last win coming on the 15th of June against Texas here at Safeco Field. Five to one and eight inning six hit one run performance. There's well, Daniel Nava. Or Iwakuma his fastball 87 to 91 miles an hour. Of course the great split. Throw a curveball up there at times 71 72 miles an hour and a slider. Mixing in more sliders to the right handed hitters. Red Sox come in with a record of 35 wins, 43 losses. Fourth place, eight and a half back in the American League East. How about this on the road? 15 and 24 record. And next to last in hitting on the road, a 227 road batting. It's been a big change since John Farrell and the boys won the World Series last fall. Nava screaming line drive center field that Jones puts away. Two way. A couple of routine plays for the Mariners defense. Take a look at the rest of it. Ackley getting the start in left field. Romero out in right. In a secret third. Miller and Cano playing at the middle. Logan Morrison at first base. And Mike Zanino will do the catching tonight. Brings up. Dustin Pedroia, two for five with a home run career against Iwakum. Ah. Her batting average over 300 for Pedroia. You can see he is well off his usual pace. Miller's got a charge, got a hurry, can't do it. An infield hit for Pedroia. He was able to field it cleanly, but I'm going to guess that he didn't get a good grip on the ball, and that's the reason why he decided not to throw it. Looked like there was time to possibly make a play. But he decides not to try it. 
Two out of man aboard. And it brings up the DH David Ortiz. Two for seven on this series against Iwakuma is two for five for home run. Same numbers that Pedroia has started the night with. One. Over three last night for Ortiz, two for four on Monday night. Mariners will put the shift on. Kyle see the third baseman on the right side of the infield. Cano out on the grass. Two and up. Right field, and that ball is gone. Line drive, two run homer. David Ortiz is 18th homer. And he has 47 and 48. Red Sox early lead here, 2 0. In the count, 2 0, and he punished it. First couple of pitches to Ortiz were fastballs, and they were down just out of the strike zone. It looked as if Iwakuma was a little bit frustrated. He thought he had some strikes. This one at the bottom of the strike zone, but in the middle of the plate. And Ortiz makes him pay for the 2 0 count. No doubt about that one. 2 0 Boston. Left fielder Johnny Gomes in his first start in the series. <laughs> David Ortiz, 15 home runs here at this ballpark. Two behind to Sharon Palmero, 392 feet on that blast. Good slider off the plate away. Johnny Gomes, one of those good extra outfielders you want to have in your team's got some pop. Made a couple of big catches last year, but there's a nice job there by Iwakuma to dispose of him to end the first inning, highlighted by the Ortiz two run homer. Mariners coming to bat. It's a two run homer. 18th of the season. Boston has a 2 0 lead. Let's take a look at the Mariner batting order that will face Clay Buckholtz. Tonight's starting lineups brought to you by Chevron. Andy Chavez, the DH tonight. He's DHing not in the outfield, but he will lead off. Then it's Jones, Cano, Kyle Seeger, 
Look at what he's done at Safeco Field this year. Encouraging. 328 batting average, 10 home runs, 36 RBIs here at Safeco. Morrison hitting fifth, and it's Zanino, his 10th home run in last night's ballgame, hitting sixth. Ackley Miller and Stefan Romero rounding out the nine for the Mariners. Buckholz just coming off the disabled list. Had struggled before going on the DL. You see his ERA over seven, just a two and four record. Opponents hitting 339 off of him. And he gave up seven home runs in the 50 innings that he has worked. Coming off a hyperextended left knee in late May. A couple of rehab starts at AAA Pawtucket. Look at Indy Chavez. The spark plug he's been here for the Mariners. He has tripled in back to back games. Had three hits last night. It's five for nine against Buckball. It's a little dribbler here. One out. Take a look at the defense for the Red Sox. Gomes getting the start in left field. Bradley in center. Nava out and right. Bogart's third baseman. Drew and Pedroia playing up the middle. Rock Holt at first base. And A.J. Pierzynski will do the catching. Last outing against the Mariners for Buck Holt. Third appearance against the Mariners, and all three have been here. Safe go field. Jones last night, a couple stolen bases in the seventh inning. Up to 14 now on the year. 14 stolen bases, only been caught once. Word on Buckholz has had a lot of problems even going into. Stint on the DL. Secondary pitches have been problematic for him. Foul ball. Which was a big part of the success when he was rolling last year, was having the ability to pitch backwards, throw his off speed pitches up there. He has a good fastball. It'll be in the low 90s. And I'm sure after the year that he had last year and, and the run that he was on that a little bit frustrating for him here this year especially after coming off the disabled list. 12 and one record. 174 ERA last year and 16 starts. 108 innings. 96 K's 36 walks. Two and two here to Jones. Hard gobbled up by Brock Holt. Stays with it. Two outs. And Holt. We've seen him in the outfield the first couple of games. We're getting the start at first base. He'll slip. He was able to keep his balance and beat Jones to the bag. Versatile player. Brock Holt has played third, first, left, right, and center field. He's the only player to start those five positions so far this season. Here's the number two hitter in the league, Robinson Cano. It's at strike one. Still trailing Jose Altuve. Starts today at 337, Robbie at 329. Mariners are surging upward. Five game winning streak. Red Sox, they've lost five in the last six. They travel back to Boston. Off day tomorrow. tomorrow. Actually, they're going to New York. A weekend series tomorrow's an off day. Spend most of that time sleeping. They're going to get in about 9 o'clock in the morning. <laughs> That's tough. Somebody warm up that bed for me, please. <laughs> no, line drive caught. Stephen Drew couldn't get enough elevation. One, two, three, go the Mariners in the first inning. Big Poppy's got the Red Sox ahead 2 nothing.
Petco Field. It's now time for you to tweet your photos using the hashtag Mariners Fan Photo for a chance to have it shown later on in the game. It's brought to you by the good folks at AT and T. It is chopper time, everybody. Up in the booth here, Jay Buner joins us. We say, Boys, pals. what's going Jay, on? How, you know, how are you? I'm good. Got a little sun since the last time we saw I you. I did. I got I got roasted yesterday playing in that uh, Russell Wilson, Casey Kane, uh, little boys and girls up at Suncadia. What a great tournament. What a great time. What a great you. day. There's A.J. Pruszynski leading off against Iwakuma. Things have picked up since we last saw you here at the ball club. Boys are on a roll, huh? Playing a little long ball, too. I like that. Scoring some runs. Been able to watch much? I have been. I've been watching quite a bit, quite frankly. I mean, they're fun to watch, so why wouldn't you tune in? What do you, what do you like what do you, that you've been seeing lately that was a struggle earlier, maybe? I just think they're, well, they're hitting with men in scoring position. Hitting with two strikes. 267 overall. Yeah. That's, yeah. We haven't seen the, an average that high in a long time around here, which is good to see. And you know, I mean, their, their pitching is going to keep them in ball games, and their bullpen is probably the best in baseball. So having those two. In your corner, always nice. And the great thing too is Lloyd's been getting a lot of help from this bench and been able to keep those kids fresh. And they've been coming up and and contributing. And it seems like every day there's somebody new that's stepping up and winning a ball game for them. And you know they're going to have a little. Uh, they're going to have some problems here before too long on making some moves. They got they got Corey Hart coming back. They got Justin Smoke coming back. And quite frankly, Michael Justin Saunders. You know Saunders coming back probably what is he's today right? If I'm not mistaken. Originally, or, yeah, he could be tomorrow yeah. possibly. Yeah. It all depends. And uh, I don't know how you're going to get Logan out of the starting lineup right now if he keeps throwing, throwing oh, thunder can't. out the yeah. way he is. So you know. Hey, Wally Pip, and uh, I love it, man. Accountability, man. Yes. You don't do the job, guess what? Someone's going to try to do it. Saunders back. You see him on the rail there. And that's rough for, for Michael. That's two years now that he's been on a roll and getting hot. And, you know, an injury never comes at a good time. But he was um, playing really he was, well. He was playing really good. Yeah. I mean, really good. And that and it's that, that shoulder that, uh, you know, he's had problems with in the past. So. Hopefully, he can get that thing healthy and finish strong for him. Off the end of the bat. Boy, look at the English <laughs> on that. Man. My goodness. Two away. What a big poppy, huh? Keeps doing it. Gets older and like a fine wine. 2-0 count. Ball was in the middle of the plate. It was down in the middle of the plate, but. You think he's hunting? <laughs> you think? <laughs> he's fixing to eat. <laughs> Nobody does it better. A little simple little infield single. Next thing, you know, next thing you know, bloop in the bat, blast, right? Never fails sometimes. Stephen Drew will stand in two outs. Well, you guys are having a now. You and Ortiz having an animated conversation oh, during yeah. DP. He's we're, a beauty, isn't he? He is. We were just talking old school, you know, talking about how the games kind of changed over the over the years and. Just, uh, I was kind of, quite frankly, asking him how many more years he had in those wheels, and he said he's still, still loving it and having fun. And I'm like, good, make him fly that uniform off of you. Well, not at the halfway point, he has 18 home runs. Not bad, huh? That's yeah, pretty good. They're gonna keep paying you, keep backing that Brinks truck up, keep taking it, right? What so, a career! As he told me last year, damaging too. It's right. not like it's a courtesy deal. He told me last year, said it ain't like they got somebody coming up to take my place either. Right? <laughs> well, there's no doubt he's the president of this fan club, but he's really good. And he's one of those guys, when you hit one like that, you can still pop and cape. Yeah. Get a little trot, you know. He's been timed as one of the slower guys around the bases probably over the last 10 years, right? Well, he hits a lot of them. He's kind of like Edgar. Not too many infield singles. <laughs> <laughs> but doing a lot of damage. Two and one. Outside, Stephen Drew. Yeah, you were talking about these guys being down 2-0. I don't even worry about it anymore. That's a, that's a nice change, too. And, and then plus with Kuma on the mound. He'll something tells in. me he'll settle in. Next right. thing you know, maybe give up a couple more hits, knock on wood. And... To his all-star okay. second baseman, Robinson Cano. And a 1-2-3 second for Iwakuma. Coming up for the Mariners, Kyle Seager, Logan Morrison, and Mike Zanino.
Five game winning streak. Let's take a look at our Coors Light cold hard facts. And those two gentlemen, a big part of the numbers we're going to post here, boys. Look at this. Over the last 10 days, this is where the Mariners rank. They're going to win a lot of games if they stay around that five runs per game with the pitching that they have. But to see the damage to 12 home runs, how about nine stolen bases? Jones with a couple of them last night. Well, the, you remember you asked me, what have I seen a little different? How about the top of the lineup one, too? How about uh, Andy and, Andy and, James, and yeah. yeah, I mean, getting on there and stealing second, stealing third. A walk's a triple for him. This pitch from Buck Holtz and Seeger in there for a strike. Seeger, Morrison, and Zanino here in the second inning. Now one for two against Buck Colts having a great series. Look at that. Five for nine. Happy haircut to Kyle, too. Look at that. Yeah. He's been rolling that for a little bit. It's working. It's a deep drive. Right Get field. Get it is done. Another home run for Kyle Seeger. Mariners on the board. It's 2 1 Boston. Seeger. With home run number 12, it's his 11th here at home at Safeco Field. Smoking hot. Chicks dig the long ball. It's not speed pitch, 83 miles an hour. It's up and in the middle of the plate. Change up. He's not missing that pitch right now, huh? Uh, so much for working the count, right? <laughs> right there. Third home run, Buck Colts has given up to a left-hander. Yeah, Lefty his eyes lit up oh. right there, didn't they? Guy had a chance to make the catch, couldn't complete it. Oh, he stretched out, had it, both hands. Way to knock it down. 1-0 to Morrison, who's been dialed in. He's 5 for 7 career against Buck Colts. With two doubles and two home runs. Mm -hmm. oh, that fan will be hearing about that one for a while. One on one to count. Ooh. Oh, two strikes. So you want to be an umpire, huh? Oh, our catcher. Where that one? Colts ready. Here's the one, two. Base hit up the middle. How about this guy? I mean, he's just, just staying right on. Mike, you called us last week. Road trip in Kansas City. Now he was swinging the bat well, and you could tell he wasn't getting a lot for it, but you could tell that the game was starting to slow down for him. And, Jay, anytime you can make that happen, hitting gets a little bit easier. And to stay back, even right there, he's on every fastball, but to stay back on that breaking ball or the changeup and hit it hard with a couple of strikes, he, he's agree. locked in right now. Yeah, with two strikes, that's a good pitch. The ball's down and away. He doesn't try to do any more than just take it right back where it's where it's pitched. Doesn't try to pull it, just hit it where it's pitched, right back up the middle. There's a lot of hits that way. A couple of things, and, and Dave was talking about it when I was watching him in Kansas City, the thing that, that jumped at me immediately, and this is after he was just recalled, and the difference I saw through spring training and even when the season started is with his stride and how relaxed his hands are. So look how soft yeah. that stride yeah, is exactly. right there. He was, he's not the jumping at it. Yeah, he was jumping at it early, and now he's just so soft. It gives him a chance to keep his hands back, and with that, he's able to make an adjustment even on a pitch like that, an off-speed pitch. Amazing what confidence will do, right? Yeah, that helps. You start trusting your eyes a little bit and believing in it and hitting it right out of the catcher's mitt. 1-0 to Zanino. Rip. That is the hard thing when you get two strikes is to, is to be confident with two strikes for a lot of people. Well, it is, and, and I think that when you can get yourself into a great position where he's at right now, and you mentioned the confidence too, and you know that they're not going to be able to throw a fastball by you, you can make some adjustments, and he, he's in a pretty good place right now. Especially in, yeah, you can take away one part of the plate, which is, makes it a little bit easier, right. doesn't it?
Folks, who else? So what, huh? In a hurry. Mike Zanino with his 11th home run. 1-1 one, one count. A blast! He is homeward now in four of his last five games. I think him and Seed got a little thing going on, don't they? Don't say that they don't have a little, little friendly competition on the long ball right now. I love it. All I can say about that is keep it going, guys. Just keep it going. Oh, Another I love pitch it. up in the middle of the plate. He's not missing that again. He's homeward in four of his last five games. He leads all American League catchers in home runs. That his 11th of the year. And he's doing a trem lot tremendous job behind the plate. Well, he, he's done that all year long, yes, Jay. He has. And, and we've talked about his power, and now we're starting to see it. He oh. his average has dipped <laughs> down a little bit, but I'll tell you what, he's got some damage, and he's going out there every day. Ground ball to the second baseman. Pedroia ends a streak of a homer single and a two round homer. One away. I don't know what that little conversation they were having. I'm not going to let you outdo me, maybe, or something. I don't know. I don't know, but he tried to <laughs> knock the numbers off that scoreboard. Uh. <laughs> Boy, that thing was tattooed. Put a dent in there, didn't he? Yeah, maybe he's so. just letting Kyle know he better stay hot if he wants to stay out in front of him. <laughs> Boy, what a <laughs> run these guys are on here. Brad Miller looks at a strike. Kyle, his 12th home run, team leader, and Zanino now with 11. I'll tell you another thing to go hand in hand. I like what Lloyd said too earlier today about Sieg, about how he expects him to be better than a 260 hitter, and I think we'll all agree with that. And I think you asked him, he'd say the same thing too. I, 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 I said that a few years ago that I thought that he was going to hit for a higher average, and mm -hmm. and he was he started to do that last year, Jane, and he and he struggled in September, and his average dipped on it, but Big he was time. right there in that 280 range, and yeah. There's no doubt he got tired and got worn down at the end of the year last year. But 280, 285 is very easy for him to be able to do. I think so. And let's not forget, he didn't mention, Lloyd didn't mention the fact that he's gold glove defender out there. And I know he knows that, but he was talking strictly about the hitting. Well, and the other part of that, too, is after after Lloyd had talked about that, and, 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 he, and he said it in a positive way, basically giving Kyle credit that he is playing well, but he thinks he can get more out of him, and it was on Lloyd to get that out of him, and they talked to Kyle after, and I love Kyle's comment. He, he was all for it. You know, he, he says, you look at his track record and the people that he's worked with and the hitters that he's had, I'm in. And uh, it's it's paying off for him. That is the one thing I love about Lloyd is is he's not afraid to say what's on his oh. mind, and sometimes, it does, you know, I mean, be careful what you ask for. You're going to hear it, but he's such a great motivator. Things have certainly worked out here in the second inning. Inning starts with a Seeger home run, a Morrison single to center, and a two-run Zanino blast, and the Mariners lead at 3-2. to two.
have the lead here against the Boston Red Sox as they try to get a sweep and win their sixth consecutive game. And a win would put the Mariners seven games beyond 500. Here's Jackie Bradley Jr. batting in a nine hole, the center fielder. He'll be followed by Brock Holt and Daniel Nava, nine one and two. Nobody happier than Kuma right now going out to the mound, huh? Thanks, guys. Yeah, you guys are the <laughs> greatest. Uh -oh. Bradley can run. And he's out of the box hard. Here's a throw to second. Not in time. Double for Bradley is 14th. Lead off double here. Don't forget to start your 4th of July celebration a week early. Join us here at Safeco Field this Friday. Fireworks night presented by Move at 92.5. It's a spectacular fireworks display from the same team that brings you the New Year's at the Needle Show. All takes place after the Mariners Indians game. So grab your tickets. Go get them right now. Mariners.com. Top of the order, Brock Holt, eight pitch at bat to start the game. He grounded out the short. And Bradley double, the third Boston hit today. Nice pick right there, Bob Zinio. Every night. I mean, especially that's a money pitch right there when you know that you can throw one down there with the runner and second base and not get the third. It's pretty nice. Foul one one. This kid stepped in and done a nice job for him, hasn't he? Five position player. He's everywhere. Mm -hmm. Nice luxury to have. Jackie Bradley Jr. at second. Wonder Brock Holt started his big league career in Pittsburgh. Pitch. One and two. Mariners keep winning ball games. It's not going to be. It's not, not going to be any flying under the radar around here. No. Oh, no, no. I don't think people are going to be like, hey. Well, Take a little notice, huh? And, and online, you're starting to see people talking about Seager, you know, all-star game coming up, too. I was just looking. He, Donaldson having a year. He has 18 home runs and 56 RBIs. Kyle, as far as third baseman go, is second with his 12 home runs and his 54 RBIs right now. That's what, I mean, that's like six in the league in RBIs now? I think he was eighth start the start of today in RBIs, Kyle. Not too shabby. And among all third basemen, sixth with 328 batting average at home. And second, as you mentioned, second only to Kai, uh, Todd Frazier. Home runs in his home ballpark. Frazier's got 13 for since Cincy. Boy, he's, he's been hot, too. Whew. Two, two pitch to hold. Gets to the hole. Romero comes up with it. It's a cutoff man. Brian Butterfield had the big stop sign up for Bradley. So the Red Sox have runners at the corners. You can see Holt trying to pull the ball. That pitch actually mm -hmm. away from him on the outside corner and trying to help his club up by moving the runner over. And in the meantime, he picks up a base hit and moves the runner up. Nice play by Romero out in right field to charge it to on a slow grounder through the hole and keep the speedy Bradley at third base. As soon as Brian saw him come up and field it cleanly, immediately threw up the two hands. Oh, Butters, one of my coaches to the Yankee when I was in the Yankee organization. Yeah, great there. man, Me great too. great baseball man. I was going to ask you, did you have him at all yeah, at any I level? Did. Yep. He's the he's the best. What a great I mean, he's a lifer. Here's Daniel Nava flight out the center. Strike one. Him and Buck. Buck Showalter.
I'm used to seeing Boston down the struggle at bottom of the totem pole there, huh? Eight games under 500. They just haven't hit, Jay. You look at their offensive numbers. We were talking about it early before you came over when you were on the radio side, but they're 13th in average, 13th in runs, 12th in home runs. Oof. That, that's not like the Red Sox. You take Big Poppy out of there, and it's really bad. Ortiz with 18 of their 59 home runs. And they're hitting just 227 with runners in scoring position. So not only are they not hitting for power, they're not driving guys in with base hits. It's amazing they're letting Big Poppy beat them then. If that's the case, you know. All these teams. It's always amazing. It's always amazing you know, to me. Always no, I, to yeah, I, I, no, I understand, but it's amazing to me the guys that are special and really good at what they do. Yeah, for they whatever reason, way, their they? their numbers seem to be there. Because right? <laughs> at some point <laughs> they have to be pitched to, and then they they strike you. Up the middle, we got a tie ball game. Base hit, Nava, and an RBI. Three three ball game. Holt to second. RBI for Nava, his fifth. So the Red Sox here in the third have gone double, single, and single and have scored a run. Yeah, we're talking about hitting with runners in scoring position. Here's a solid base hit. The Red Sox now two for two in this game. Pitch down off the plate. Good hitting by Nava to stay with it as he lines it back up the middle. Brings up the Dreyer infield hit. First time up. 3 3 ball game. Five hits now for the Red Sox. And look who's lurking on deck. Strike one to Pedroia. Needs a little double play right here. Help him out. Fly ball. Medium right field. Romero getting set. All right, holds. First out. And that'll bring up Ortiz with a couple of men aboard. Century Link link to what's next. Cleveland Indians come to town after the Mariners enjoy tomorrow off. Trevor Bauer against Chris Young. Josh Tomlin against Landis Elias. Indians still looking to name a starter for Sunday. Felix will be on the mound. Nine and two with a 2 2 4 ERA. And pitching some magnificent baseball. Hit the midway point on Saturday, Jay, and everybody has talked about the Mariners' pen as they should. They've been outstanding. Best bullpen in the American League. And of course, Felix and Iwakuma. But how about the job Chris Young and Elias have done this year? You look at those ERAs, both of them in the threes. Bail them and, out, huh? and pitch well and pitching deep in the games. It's really helped Lloyd out trying to save that bullpen as much as they can. They really, really pitched well. And it brings up another topic. What are they going to do when it comes time for Paxton? Walker. And Walker. I mean, because, I mean, those two guys deserve to be here. So they're going to have to well, make some decisions. That's a, that's a nice luxury to have. Walker know. pitched really well. I believe it was last, last night. Mm -hmm. Went the distance, yeah. four hitter. Throwing 95 96 in the ninth inning. Beat Oklahoma City. 2 0 to Ortiz, who was at this count. First inning when they hit a two run homer to put Boston in front. Take so a look at the home run. This pitch is at the bottom of the strike zone, but it's in the middle of the plate. And he's done pretty well over the years hitting that pitch. Sounded pretty crispy, didn't it? Certainly did. 2 0 with two on. Austin's tied it here in the third. Three and 0 with Johnny Gomes on deck. Did you like to hit 3 0? No. No. 
Why not? A few times I did. I, tr I tried to I tried to add that little extra and see how far I could hit it, and I'd hit it straight up the elevator shaft every time. So I usually I would take. Blue strike, three and one. But I can tell you right now, David Ortiz is not looking inside after what he did his first A-B. So he is going to be looking to dive and yank. Well, the first two two pitches to him were away that Iwakuma missed down with. And then the last pitch, I think he tried to go there again, but it ended up in the middle of the plate. And that's one reason why he's such a great hitter. He'll, he'll take away a certain part of the plate, hit off a certain part of the plate until he gets two strikes. Although he pretty much does it all the time based on the shift we're seeing right now, right? I don't think he's going to see a fastball right here. He might be thinking the same thing. He may. The cat and mouse. Three and one. Couple of men aboard. Pitch me with coma. That's a, I think that's a better place to pitch him at the top of the strike zone. 88 miles an hour. It's a fastball. But it's up. I think that's adding a little extra. Yeah. Had he made contact, he'd been straight throwing the knuckles right there because that was right off the label. Three and two to Ortiz. Two on, one out. Runners take off. This in on a line. And it's going to get off the glove of Romero. Coming around is Holt. Nava will stop at third. Boston 4-3. In the lead. Hammered by well, Ortiz. And it's almost the same pitch that he hit out. Fastball that was down middle end this time. The other one was more center, but this is middle end, but it's down right at the knees. Oh, it's hit hard. That ball was leaned on. Woof. Sometimes nice, nice you just don't try. have enough time to get back. Yeah, I mean, that ball is hit so hard. Nice try by Romero to get back there. Got a little bit of leather on it, but that ball almost knocked the wall down. Three RBI night for Ortiz and two at bats. Red Sox are now three for four with runners in scoring position. All three of those hits coming in this inning. Here's Johnny Gomes struck out in an 0-2 pitch. Looks like we're going to get a little offense tonight. We'll have to score to win tonight, that's for sure. <laughs> Iwakuma was able to strike Gomes out with his slider. That was the first pitch slider off the plate away. Threw him two in a row. I want to Gomes. Now he's been around yeah, dating right back there. to uh, 03 with Tampa. And Cincinnati, Washington for half of the 2011 season, Oakland in 2012, and Boston last year as a part timer, 13 homers, 52 runs batted in. Probably throw another slider off the plate away. Probably right? too. Span the zone. Mike set up out there. 0 oh 2. Yeah, this guy right here was huge for him down the stretch, no doubt about it. But Johnny some of Jones. the catches he made yeah, last year, I never, too. I never knew he could play the outfield. He did it. Pretty darn good job out there. It's nice to play at home with that short porch, though. You can kind of back up, snuggle up to that wall, and anything over your head's off the wall. Makes it a little easier, but get on the road. There's some tough ballparks in left field, especially with that sun. 0 oh, 2 to Gomes. Struck him out. Okay. Second time he's gotten Gomes. Two away. Here in the third, second strike out of the evening. And his best fastball tonight, 91 miles an hour up out of the strike zone. And that was after three sliders. Johnny a little bit late on it, not able to catch up to the fastball up in that area. Boys, give me the mindset here. Mr. Przinski left nine men on last <laughs> night. And he grabbed it out in the second. Veteran, he's already forgotten about it. Didn't offer the first pitch, strike one. Rounded out the second, leading off the second one. Yeah, he knows one swing of the bat can make things a little bit better. Evens things out, is that what they say, Mike? It all evens out. <laughs> well, 
Akuma went five innings against the Royals and he gave up five runs. Already 55 pitches working here in the third. Found an RBI single. Ortiz an RBI single. 1-1 one, one here to Krasinski. Six strike two. San Francisco, Minnesota, White Sox. He's had a uh, nice Boston. career, hasn't he? Yes, he has. He's definitely one of those catchers, one of those players that you love to hate. Always seems to be stirring up some trouble from time to time. <laughs> but that's part of his swag. Absolutely. One and two. Oof. Lucky mouth. Nice pitch by Iwakuma. Red Sox, though, strike the two runs on four hits. No errors. Leaf two. And now have a 4 3 lead. Sports being brought to you by CenturyLink, your link to what's next. Buy Jack in a Box into Jack in a Box for the new Jalapeno Ranch or Barbecue Ultimate Cheeseburgers at participating restaurants. And by BNSF Railway, sponsor of the BNSF Blast. Nice night here in Seattle. You look at I-5, bring you down towards Safe Gold Field. Dave Sims, Mike Flowers. Aaron Hall of Famer Jay Buhner in the booth tonight. Here's Indy Chavez looking at strike one. Indy, James Jones, and Robinson Cano. Well, let's just see him turn right back around and answer. Don't waste any time. Well, they didn't in the second inning. A couple of home runs got him right back into the game. Pedroia going to back up. Calling off his right fielder, Nava. One down here in the third. Bring up James Jones. Round it out. First baseman Brock Holt. Red Sox four runs on six hits. Mariners three runs on three hits. Mariners have a solo home run from Seeger. A two run shot by Zanino. Strike one, the Jones. David Ortiz, a first inning two round homer, and then in the third, RBI singles by Nava and Ortiz, accounting for the Boston runs.
Wade Buckholz just off the DL. Hyperextended left knee. Knocked him out since mid May. One on one. Fielder Gomes coming in, but the shortstop's going to take care of it. That's Stephen Drew two away. School may be out for summer, but King's Court still in session. Make sure you join us Sunday. King Felix toes the rubber against the Indians at 110. And fans, you can pick up a ticket in the Royal Section for 35 bucks. Plus, you're going to get a free King's Court tee. Join the fun when you get your tickets at Mariners.com slash Felix. Here's Robinson Cano lined out to the shortstop Drew. That ended the Mariners first. All one. No strikeouts, no walks thus far for. They buckle. Buck Olds out of Nederland, Texas, part of the great state of Texas. Is that Jay? You're being a native? It's a good question. Just make something up. Well, you guess. know, it might be on the outskirts of Dallas, I mean, Houston. Pop up to the shortstop for Keno. It's in Texas, though, baby. <laughs> it's a good place wherever it is. <laughs> Four three Red Sox. Check out action in the pen. Good crowd here on hand here. Jay Buner with us. And we got the answer. Needle in Texas, 90 miles east of Houston. So let's go through Winnie. Great duck hunting. Goose hunting capital right through there. In the orange and then in the Beaumont. And you cross over in the Louisiana. Pushing gumbo. Oh, that too fair. There you go. Xander Bogarts leads it off, looks at ball one. Bogarts, Drew, and Bradley, 7 8 9 here for the Red Sox, the lead for three. Deep to left, staying in the ballpark. Ackley's under. That ball come back. One out here in the fourth. This copyrighted telecast is presented by authority of the Seattle Mariners. It may not be reproduced or retransmitted in any form. 
and the accounts and descriptions of this game may not be disseminated that the express written consent of the Seattle Mariners. We'll bring up Stephen Drew. We're talking about the ball coming back with Ackley out there. That happens in a lot of the stadiums, if not all of them, doesn't it? It does, and you got you know you got what I try to do is play it off the top of my head and keep your feet moving. Don't ever stand straight up and get those tree trunks. What do you mean by play it off the top of your head? Just kind of keep it right off the top of your head. Keep your feet moving, and and just it's just easier for me if I thought just just base basically right off the top of my head, and that way I stay underneath the ball. And, that way, if it goes a little right or a little left, you got a little room for air. I'm because a lot of times, it, those adjustments you're making, you have to make them late. Watching that ball, exactly, like that. exactly, because it's because it's got a funky spin. I'm telling you, left field is tough to play because the ball comes off differently from a left-hander than a right-hander. Inevitably, left field always has the brutal sun, especially the first couple three innings. You know, even if it's a night game, you know, some of these stadiums, you have that little gap like here in safe. You've got that little gap where there's the windows right there, and sometimes a right fielder, like about the end of the first inning or second inning, that, that sun can kind of peek through there a little bit. So, Morrison takes care of Drew, two down. And the funky corners down there. and He's done a pretty good job, too, though. He's another guy that's some kind of a new position for him. That's what you were talking about. The yep. windows up there. You have to get a little glare that comes through there sometimes. We just saw your buddy in Kansas City, Rusty Coon. It's the best ever. Best outfield instructor ever. Got me a gold glove. He really did. Hands down. <laughs> he made me serviceable out there. And he did that I, with a lot I, of people. I played the infield my entire life, and, and when I had to go out there, which was when I was in the big leagues, he's the one that took me out there and, and taught me how to play it. Still the best advice I ever got was from you. Back it up, man. Just go out there and put the wall on your back. If it's over your head, you don't have to worry about it. It's not your <laughs> fault. It's those dang pitchers. <laughs> I like to put the wall on your back. Oh, that's good. We were, we were in uh, Detroit in Old Tiger Stadium, and it was shortly before the game. Jay had been playing. He'd been hurt, and it was just one of those days he could go. It was cold out. And <laughs> I went up to him, and I said, uh, you have any advice? You know, because it's not like he was saying. There's different stadiums, and right. they had the overhang and all that. Yeah, Detroit. He, old Detroit had that overhang. He said, he said, just put your heels on the warning track. You'll be all right. And it worked out. <laughs> yeah, I mean, Detroit, I mean, it, it would literally go out into fair territory. And I remember going back for a fly ball, and I'm underneath it thinking I got it. Next thing I know, I'm like, where'd it go? It's like in the front, you know, first row up there, yeah. right above you. Just barely got in that upper tank. Some of those old mm. ballparks, flagpole, kind of like in since or out in uh, Houston, yeah. out in the middle of center field. One and two to Jackie Bradley Jr. Doubled his first time up and scored. Oh boy, get in his kitchen. Jones has this one under control. Iwakuma goes the one, two, three, four, four, three. Boston as we take a look at the youngsters working with the moose out in the moose stand get some photos to commemorate this night here at Safe Go Field.
homer leading off the second inning as we take a look at our Seattle City Light power play. And Seeger unloads for his 12th home run. Boys, he is swinging it really good. Didn't quite reach the cafe with this one. Hit the cafe last night. Hit the windows out there, but that's good enough for Kyle's 12th home run of the year. Get the Mariners on the scoreboard. Second of multi RBI games. Kyle Seeger, that's in Mariner history. Good run he's on. Mike Carp. Now with the Red Sox on the DL with a broken foot. Humor's on the list. Kevin Mitchell, Dave Valley. Dave Valley. Managing down with the Aqua Sox, doing a good job down there. Hit that. Right field coming on. Speedy Nava. Oh, and no. Uh -oh. And Seeger is out. What a heads up play. That's a heck of a play from throwing from your butt. Well, I think that that's the reason why Kyle decided to try it. He, he ran hard the entire way. He saw the ball on the ground, decided to go to second, and Nava just makes a great play. I think you have to try to make him throw you out on something like this. What an effort. He had it, and then it comes out right when he hits the ground. But how about the throw? There's the ball. You can see the ball come out of his glove. Covered a lot of ground, didn't he? He did. And then to have the wherewithal to pick it up and fire a strike, one hop strike in the second. Now he was he was fortunate the ball came right back to him where he could reach it and get rid of it quickly. There's Logan Morrison single to center. Shift on for him. Check out this throw. Kyle comes around first and he's like, no way that went right to his hand. Exactly. Did, he, did you see the throw? It's right on the money, and you're <laughs> like, oh, I'm in no man's land. I gotta keep going. And he goes, really? And it's right on the money from your tush? Come on. Morrison line drive. Nava is there. Hey, quit picking on that guy. He looked at somebody else. Two outs. Morrison hitting the ball hard again. Yes, he is. So lean you. Zanino on a 1 1 count. Man aboard, two run homer. Rocket off the. And operated scoreboard. Man, that thing got hit. <laughs> popped up. Krasinski taking a look. No play. One breaking ball hit the center and deep. Bradley is there. Six pitches in the inning. A couple of nice defensive plays for three Red Sox.
make that the right field foul pole as we take a look at the Mariner calendar. Brought to you by Sleep Country USA. Day off tomorrow, first day off at home for the Mariners since April 24th. Cleveland for three. Out on the road, three in Houston. Day off in Chicago. Sox for three, and then come home from Minnesota and the A's, and that'll get us to the All-Star break. Off day in Chai Town. That ain't all bad. Correct. Fourth of July. That Chicago. ain't all bad. That's a great town. Drop the order here for the Red Sox, Brock Holt. You gonna tee it up, a little grip and rip? Nope. Nope. Wow. <laughs> Knowing you, you're gonna go power shopping. <laughs> yeah, that's it. <laughs> power shopping. Not I like going that. to happen. <laughs> power shopping. That's good. <laughs> one on one. Two off days this month, huh? Hmm. We'll see CF golf tournament tomorrow, right? Yep. Out of tomorrow. Newcastle. One to hold. In hard. Base hit. Two for three night for him. Mr. Kuma better get that ball down. He's just missing down the heart of the plate all night long so far. Well, as Jay was saying, it's the fastball 90 miles an hour. It's in the middle of the plate. Talking about the struggles for the Red Sox, but Holt has played well for him coming into the game, hitting 320. Already his second hit of the game. We're just going to have to figure out a way to get these guys a little uncomfortable, move their feet a little bit, well, something, because they're in there digging in off of him right now and drooling. He's going to have to figure out a way to get the guys out in front of Ortiz. Ortiz having a big night, two for two with three runs driven in, including his 18th home run. And it's because there's been guys on, he hasn't had anywhere to put them. He's in the hole 10 feet deep. Daniel Nava one for two RBI single in the third. He needs a double play. That's well struck. Base hit. They are on him. Two men aboard for Pedroia. Here's Angie Minton. A.O. West, but apparently the uh, ODOT Co. Coliseum not going anywhere anytime soon, which is probably unfortunate. Yes, the A's announced that they have extended their lease with ODOT Co. for another 10 years. The A's have called it home since 1968. It's empty now as the A's are taking on the Mets in New York, but let's be honest. Probably be empty if this game was in Oakland. First inning, one on for Brandon Moss, and he goes deep. A mammoth blast to the third deck, his 18th of the season, and Oakland sneaks by the Mets, 8-5, the final score there. Guys, back to you. I wonder what's being said out on the mound right now. Well, I think right now Rick Waits is trying to get Kuma to get the ball back on the ground. He only has four ground ball outs in the game, and a lot of pitches are elevated. They've been line drives and fly ball outs. Tom um, Wilhelmson starting to get loose in the pen. Iwakuma, fifth inning, 74 pitches for him. Giving up four runs on eight hits. First two men have reached here in the fifth. You got Pedroia ready to swing the bat, and Ortiz behind him. Pedroia, one for two with a run scored. Might be going through a little dead arm period. Who knows? Going out, checking, making sure everything was all right. Nobody out, two on. All one. Austin broke on top in the first inning, a two run homer by Ortiz. Mariners come back, take the lead in the third. Seeker solo homer and Zanino, a two run shot. But Austin top of the third with a quick response. Nava and Ortiz with RBI singles for the lead. Cool little deal you guys did last night, that little telethon. Some stuff that went for some big money. I think. Sports tele auction went very well. Yeah, that Eat with Edgar. What was that 5Gs or something? 5,600 bucks? I think so. Total of 42,000 raised last evening. Thank all the folks for participating. 2 and 0 to Pedroia. They get 3 and 0. 
So some difficulties here for Iwakuma. He's going to have to make a couple of pitches right here. Pedroia probably taking, but he needs to get that double play yet. Ortiz waiting on deck. Looks like he's ready to run to the plate right now. Strike one, so a 3 1 count. Ortiz waiting. Two run homer and an RBI single tonight. Three one pitch to Pedroia. Strike two. Got the at corner. Paint, paint, paint. Perfect pitch. Just a good fastball right on the outside corner at the knees. And that's the kind of pitch he needs to make again. See if he can repeat it, get a ball on the ground, maybe get a double play. So full count here to Pedroia. Two on, nobody out. Ball four. First walk, and man, is that a critical one there. Base is loaded for a tease. You got a pitch to him. And the Red Sox are three for six with runners in scoring position. That's going to be it. 80 pitches for Iwakuma. Lloyd McLennan is going to get Tom Wilhelmson. Akuma is done early. Here we are in the fifth inning. And this would be his earliest exit. Four innings plus. He's done. Bases loaded. Red Sox. David Ortiz has done plenty of damage already. First inning ahead in the count, 2 and all. Crashes one. Two run homer. Early lead for Boston. Move to the third inning. A run already in, tying the score, and a base hit right here. That also hit hard over the head of Romero. That puts Boston in front again. Four to three. Iwakuma shortest outing of the season. Four plus inning, boys. Eight hits, four runs, all of them earned. One walk, three strikeouts. He threw 80 pitches, 54 of those for strikes, and he is responsible for all three runners on the bases right now. Nobody out here in the fifth. Tom Wilson will take over. This will be his 30th appearance on the year. 284 ERA, 34 strikeouts in the 38 innings that he has worked. Opponents hitting just 197 off of Tom. Well, helps him through a lot of curveballs. Ninth inning, Monday night, big lead, 2 1 pitch. Ortiz got a single off him, and he fouls his first pitch off. Tom with a good fastball, 95 to 97 miles an hour. That curveball that Dave was talking about, good 12 6 curveball, and he also use a changeup against lefties. A frustrated Iwakuma can only watch now. 0 1 to Ortiz. 
Broken bat, ground ball. Miller with the race to throw to get it. That's a dandy double play. Run scores on the play. It's amazing how fast you can run when you're sniffing an RBI, isn't it? <laughs> Well, he didn't get it. It was a good double play by the Mariners. Brad Miller, they had the shift on Brad, able to beat Pedroia and then get the throw off. Good throw to Morrison. And big Poppy trying to get that ribby leg. That was a great play by Miller. Coming across the bag like that. Nobody there to flip to. Take it yourself. And you could see Pedroia. He... Bearing down on him. Yeah, yeah, he knew he wasn't going to meet, beat Brad to the base. He was just hoping to get a piece of him so he couldn't finish the double play. Scoring on a play was Holt over to third. Nava, 5-3 Red Sox, two away. Gomes pops it up. Foul territory, doesn't come back to see. One on one. Only three times. Only uh, three times has uh, Iwakuma failed to go five innings and as a starter. All been against Boston. Two of the three have been against Boston. Last July 9th, he went three innings. They count tonight. Swing by Gomes, one and two. Swing wow. and a miss. Good job Tech. by Tom. Sure Helping was. Kuma, huh? Bailed him out very nicely. Good performance by Wilhelmson. 5-3 Red Sox. to do if they're going to sweep the Red Sox as we look at the CenturyLink link to what's next Friday. Trevor Bauer, Chris Young, don't forget fireworks after that game. And then on Saturday, Josh Tomlin against Luanis Elias. Indians still ready to, uh, not ready to make a starter of choice for Sunday. So three games set in the Namaris take off on the road again. Ackley, Miller, and Romero. Iwakuma in his last two ball games. His ERA has taken a beating. Five year earned runs today and five earned runs in his last start at Kansas City on June 20th. So 10 earnings in the last two games. Ackley grounded out the second. Here's a fly ball center field. 
Bradley for out number one. Major League Baseball People Magazine and Target celebrating teachers in your community, both of the teacher who will represent the Mariners at the 2014 All-Star Game, July 15th on Fox. Log on allstarteachers.com to vote for your favorite teacher today. Iwakuma with the five earned runs he gave up today. His ERA goes from 3.04 to 3.48. That caused a little bit of concern. Well, you called it in the second inning when the ball's being hit. There's just something about the body language. You know, you get a, a sense sometimes the way people kind of carry themselves, and it just didn't look like he was tuned in to me tonight. Plus, he didn't give up very many soft hits, that's for sure. Brad Miller fly to left his first time. The other thing too is with him being hurt at the start of the year, you wonder if this is just that time for him pitching it through May and he pitched extremely well, but the last two outings have been a struggle, Jay, and maybe it's his time. We saw Felix go through it. He had right. three outings where he had struggled earlier in the year. A little dead arm. Yeah. Holt takes it to the back for the second out. And who knows? Maybe with a couple days all coming up, they can maybe skip him a start if that's I don't know, just thinking out loud. Now the other thing too is, I don't know how many starts ago was Dave? Was it his third start ago where he had the stiff neck and had a hard time, and they he decided to pitch and pitch well? I think that was the game against Texas where he went eight innings, right. gave up just the one earned run. Uh, but he hasn't been able to get his normal bullpen work in because of that. And it for Iwakuma, you know how critical that is. He likes to work and, and get his his routine done, and he's been a little bit of out of out of sorts with that too. So maybe that has something to do with his location because it, to me. You were talking about his body language. He just looked like he just was not able to locate and, and right. get the ball down like he normally is able to. It's not comfortable and at it's, all. And it's been that way the last couple of outings for him. Ten earned runs this last two games. It's Romero behind 0-2. Well, that's just over nine innings, too. Ten earned runs in nine innings. That's that's not even cool. Enough. And Tom saved his bacon, too. Yeah, he had <laughs> three outs on seven pitches. Yeah, big time. Gave just one run. Bases loaded and nobody out, and he gives up yeah. just one run. 0-2 here to Romero. Keeping Bradley busy. Mariners retired. How about Clay Buckholtz? 3, 6, 9, 12 in a row retired since giving up the two-run homer to Zanino. Buy Pizza Hut. Too much good stuff. Buy Seattle City Light. Visit seattle.gov slash WePower for more information. Buy the Swedish Cancer Institute. Extraordinary care. Extraordinary caring. And by the Washington State Department of Labor and Industries. When you're choosing a contractor, 
Hire smart and go to protectmyhome.net. Won't you let me take you on a sea cruise? Why not? Mariners behind 5 3 here at Safe Field. Here's A.J. Pruszynski. A.J., Xander Bogarts, and Stephen Drew, 6 7 and 8 here in the sixth inning. Other action in the American League West. Atlanta won at Houston four nothing. Oakland won at the Mets eight five. What new? Yeah, right. Detroit winning at Texas eight five. Bottom of the ninth. Two strikes here. Oh, good foul. And it will. But you boys are looking forward to a little day off, huh? A little home cooking. Correct. Yep. Hang out with the fam a little bit. Yeah, I'm going to get to go to a baseball game. See the boys play. Yep. Finally. Yep. Flips yes. this one down oh, the man. line. Base hit, A.J. Pruszynski. Go two. He's going to go out. for two. Here's a tip pick by Cano. Yes, sir. What a pick. Cano, with quick hands, actually throws out Pruszynski, who got a little greedy. A lot of good things here. First, it was a good pitch by Tom. This pitch is well off the plate away. He gets Pierzynski to chase. You can see it's the circle change. Good look for our McDonald Supermo on the changeup. Pierzynski dumps it down the line, and a good play by Dustin. A little flick out to left field, and great charge by Dustin to come over, cut it off, get his shoulders around, get a good uh, throwing lane in the second base, and what a great pick by Robinson at second. That was sweet right there. Not just the pick, but when your glove comes up, look how quickly he's able to get back down to put the tag on AJ. A little spin out, staying low, huh? Mm -hmm. I know, and right where AJ is, look at that. He's like, are you kidding me? That's exactly what he said. <laughs> are you kidding me? I don't know how it came out, but <laughs> that's real quick, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> oh, dude, the Bogarts. AJ going 0 for 4 last night. He was 0 for 2 this evening. I think he's a little frustrated because yeah. he went double. He doubled him up on changeups. He's like, you throw a 98, you're going to double up on changeups and then throw another one to him in two strikes. He's having a tough series. Well, you ought to know better. He's a veteran. Don't assume. AJ was 0 for 9 in the series going into that at bat. Well, Helmson ahead of Bogart 2 and 2. Man, it strikes him out coming over the top. That good breaking ball. Two away. That's pretty filthy. Second strikeout for Tom. Two down here in the sixth. Come celebrate Peroni Italian Heritage Night this Saturday, June 28th. Festive night full of games and awesome prizes. You can enter to win a Peroni fridge and glassware at the Coors Light Rail Bar in the pen. Make sure you arrive early to watch bocce ball, the bocce ball tournament. The events are going to start at 4 p.m. You don't want to miss this. Stephen Drew 0 for 2 tonight. Tom Wilhelmson on a relief of Hisashi Iwakuma knocked out. After four plus innings, a shortest stint this season gives up five earned runs. Good pitch by Will Hobson. Tell you what, that change has been yes. working for him on those lefties. He really he's really had a good feel for his changeup. He's thrown the ball well this year and 
change up a big part of that because it gives him a pitch that he can run away from the left-handers. Comes out of the same arm slot as that fastball. Plus, when you're throwing 98, those guys are going to cheat like crazy to try to hunt that fastball. Nice hop nice for Brad Miller. Throws out Drew. Nice defensive play by Ackley to throw out Brzezinski trying to stretch a double. Good work by Wilhelmson. 5-3 Boston. It is the yellow boat. Hi, everyone. Andy Benton here at your local Ford uh, desk, sports desk. Excuse me. All right. July 13th, last year, Tim Lincecum threw his first career no-hitter against the Padres. Today, he throws his second, two outs in the ninth. He gets Will Venable to ground out his second for the final out. One Padre reach base via a walk. Other than that, Lincecum was perfect. 113 pitches, three, uh, excuse me, six punch outs, guys. Congrats. All right, Angie, thank you very much. As we go to the home sixth, top of the order, Andy Chavez, James Jones, and Robinson Cano. With the last 12 batters, Buck Colts has allowed a base hit to Seeger, and he was thrown out trying to stretch it into a double. So Lensa come, huh? Look good for him, man. It's about the Padres, no hitting them twice. I was going to say, I mean, I, it's still throwing no hitter. I take my hat off to him, but they're, they're no, not, I agree, they're but not I, very I, I, good, man. Well, uh, they're not, but to, to you know, to see that happen to you, two years where he's throwing a no hitter against you, against any club, I, I don't right. care who it is. It's it's. Padres hitting two sixteen starting today, worse than the bigs. And Lins come on, a no hitter's a no hitter. He was filthy, and then he yep. lost it. But for him to be able to turn it back around, and I mean, he's had a second life. It's good to see. 2-1 to Chavez. Local kid. Always cheer on those guys. That will get more. through. A base hit for Indy Chavez. His first hit tonight. One for three. Good start to the sixth inning for the Mariners. Here we go. Well, it's been tough because Iwakuma didn't have a good night, but they're only down two runs. Take a look at the swing by Indy. Indy with three hits last night. Checks in. He's now one for three tonight. Got the Rabbits coming up, Michael. Get him on base. Open up some holes. There's James Jones. He represents a tying run. He's grounded out the first and popped out the short. Yeah, you would really like to get him on, especially with the way Cano, Seeger, Morrison, and Zanino have been swinging. Third baseman Bogarts. A couple three steps onto the grass. There's Xander. Back safe is Indy Chavez.
like Andrew Miller left hander getting loose in the Boston bullpen. Again Buckholz just coming off the disabled list only 51 pitches in the game 37 strikes for him. Paul Colts coming off a hyperextended left knee. Hit hard, oh, eats up, Drew. Chavez will shut Easy. it down right there. <laughs> Two middle board. Tying runs on. Wow, Base hit for missile. Jones. It's been a good combination. These two guys at the top of the lineup. Chavez with a base hit, and now Jones hits this one right on the button. Eats up, Drew. Goes off of his glove. Andy, the DH today, his legs must be feeling pretty good. He thought about going to third. Glad he shut it down. <laughs> Mariners down a couple of runs. If you love the mindset. Yeah, you have to. Let's see if Robinson bunts right here. He's only hitting 362 <laughs> with runners in scoring position. I think Boyd will let him go. Number two hitter in the American League starting today. Let's see him get number five right here. Why not? At 362, third best in the American League behind Cabrera and Alex scored runners in scoring position batting average. All one. Lined out to short, popped out to short. Cano starting tonight. Good numbers against Buckholz. 12 for 32, a homer and three runs batted in. Exceptional speed on the base path, Chavez and Jones. Nobody out. Into right center field. Nava runs it down. It's a cutoff, man. One out. I'll bring up Kyle Seeger having a good night. Solo home run. And an and a base hit to right. So two for two. That home run, his 12th of the year, his 54th RBI club leader in that category, as well as home runs. Sager now career three for four against Buckholz. He's night to the two for two. What do you think, Jay? Fastball away? Be a good guess. I don't think he wants to mess around anything middle end with Kyle, as hot as he's been. Trying to protect a two run lead. They can beat you away. Mm -hmm. 2 0 pitch. See, we're both done. Cutter. Austin jumps out with the 2 nothing lead in the first. Mariners catch him and pass him. Take the lead in the bottom of the second. Austin responds with two in the top of the third and another in the fifth. It's 5-3 lead. Chaney. Yeah. Two and two. It's a good pitch right there. Well located. Job is at second. And you 
got James Jones at first. Two two pitch. Up the middle. Right on. Drew. Uh -huh. Double play. He smoked that ball too. That he did. Mariners leave a runner. Turned away here in the six five three Red Sox. Reminder, you can get downtown from the airport for only 275 on Sound Transit's Link Light Rail. See how easy it is at soundtransit.org. The Mariners turned away. Double play ended a two-on threat. Two men on in the sixth. The Mariners cannot score, and they continue to trail here 5-3. to three. Boston Red Sox on top as Tom Wilhelmson will continue on. He came on in relief. In the fifth inning, as Sashi Iwakuma was chased after four plus innings, eight hits, five runs all earned. Tom's done a nice job. Seven pitches they get out of that fifth inning jam. They get. Might turn in a good performance in the sixth. There's Jackie Bradley Jr. He's doubled the center and flied out the center. Low roller to Morris. It'll take it himself. Away. Good work here for Wilhelmson. Just like Fernando Rodney. You can record a save when you head to Safe Gold Field this Saturday. Thanks to BASF. First 8,000 fans are going to get a Mariner's Kitchen Caddy to collect compostable materials that will help save the earth. For tickets to Saturday's 7-10 matchup against the Indians, log on to Mariners.com. Top of the order and Brock Holt. Two for three, couple runs scored. Strike one. Boy, right, Tom is really throwing the ball well. 23 pitches, 20 strikes for Tom. Out at 97 miles an hour using his changeup. Had a really good changeup tonight. Missed with that curveball. Reminds me a lot of Troy Percival. Really? Over the top like that, throws 96, 98. Got that big over the top curveball too. Big frame. He doesn't squint as much as, as Troy did though. <laughs> Probably not drink as much coffee either. <laughs> <laughs> Remember when he had that heart deal or whatever yeah, was going on? Because he, he was drinking. They go, do you drink coffee? And he goes, yeah, two pots. Two pots of coffee. Wow. So that might make you squint and get the jitters. And 
Man, how the heck did he get to sleep? Maybe that, maybe that was it, too. Oh, he had pitch. a strikeout. Two and two. Not bad for a kid that was, what, working at UPS and then was a bartender mm -hmm. and then... It's a nice find. We'd have struck lightning in a bottle with that one, huh? Jack Z. 2-2 two, two to Holt. <laughs> right, the full count went out. Nobody on. You think about all that. Oh, by the way, I know a guy. He throws 97 if you want to take a look at him. <laughs> I, know so I, remember, I remember they brought him in in spring training. And Jack, I was with Jack, and he brought, brought me over to see this kid. He goes, what do you think? And I'm like, this kid's filthy. Who is it? He kind of explained the whole story. It was like. He knew him from Milwaukee. He was in the Milwaukee organization, and he ended up calling his agent and said, hey, he's back throwing again and wants to give it another whack. Would you take a chance, take a look at him? And, man, has he been electric. Three and two. I think the amazing thing is you take that much time off and you still have the great fastball. You would think you would lose something. Maybe it helped, though. Clear, his arm a little bit. Maybe he had to go clear the squash a little bit too. Yeah. Clear the head a little bit. And let that get out of the way so you can throw the fastball. But his his curveball is filthy. Oh, That's what's is. amazing. There it is. is. Zanino. Goes down to Marson. Tom's third strikeout. And he's got two outs here in the seventh. Well, Jay was talking about early trying to get geared up for 97, and he drops a 12-6 curveball on you. Holt, I'm sure, figured he was getting a fastball for sure. And Tom just buries that curveball up there. Eighth pitch of the at-bat, but he gets the strikeout. And you're right now, he's got that change at working for him, too. So now he's got three pitches, which his change up on these lefties tonight has been pretty good as well. Daniel Nava, two hit night and an RBI, two for three. And there it is right there, which he's done a lot. First pitch change up, doubled up on AJ. See if he doubles up here. How about this night for Nava? Third straight hit. Going out again. No, throw out the anchor. So Nava's got a base hit to left, to center, and to right. Two outs, one on. Brings up Dustin Pedroia. I think it's a good pitch. 97 miles an hour just off the outside corner. He's a kid that needs to get hot for him, too. He did a good job for him last yeah. year, and now you got the Hulk kid stepping up a little bit. There's Pedroia. Infield hit, fly to right on a walk. Ball one. Off the mask of Zanino. Occupational hazard. That's no, just a glancing blow. I never felt it. <laughs> Angels ate the Twins 5 1, top of the seventh in Anaheim. Here's the 1 1. Off the plate. Oh seven rookie of the year, oh eight MVP in the American League, Dustin Pedroia. Up. Here comes Cano. Make that Miller. 
for out number three. Tom Wilhelmson, nice work there. A couple of guys representing Mr. Griffey and Mr. Martinez. A couple of Mariners Hall of Famers, 5-3 Red Sox. Washington's Lottery and the Department of Imagination. What would you do if you won? You got a great night. Festive crowd, 27,333. Dave Sims, Mike Flowers, and Jay Buhner are in the booth here tonight. Mariners need some rally here. You got a rally hat on or anything you can put on or a rally mojo you can get going here? Rally goatee. <laughs> rally goatee, that'll work. Why not? Iwakuma didn't have it tonight, so the boys got to pick him up. Buckholtz, nice work. First game back after being on the DL since May. Coming off the hyperextended left knee. Well, I say we run him out of there and get into the bullpen and see what happens from there. Logan Morrison, Mike Zanino, and Dustin Ackley here in the home seventh, down two. Morrison single to center and lined out. Hits this one hard. Well, he is on. He's, isn't he? Even his foul balls, yeah. I mean, he's squared up everything tonight. Base hit the center, scored on the Zanino two-run homer, and then lined out to right in the fourth. He did this last night. Smoke one over about the same place. Gives the courtesy look, make sure everybody's all right. Luckily, it hit that the wall down there. But he is definitely, safe to say, seeing the ball extremely well right now. And that's a great pitch right there. Oh, and two. That'll get him off the fastball a little bit. Tozawa joining Miller in Red Sox bullpen. They need this guy to stay hot. No doubt about it. Here comes the 0-2. Manners threatened in the sixth inning. Indy Chavez base hit to right. Infield hit for Jones. Get a couple of men on. Cano lines out to right. And then a 6-3 six, six, double play. Hit right to the shortstop behind the bag. Drew touched second through to first for the double play into the inning. Well, just recalled today and getting loose in the pen is Brandon Maurer. Rosmo Ramirez optioned down a triple-A Tacoma. Mauer had been working out of the bullpen in Tacoma. Think that's his future? What do you think? I know that last year when they put him in the pen, he pitched really well out of the pen, and he seemed to just turn it loose. You see his fastball velocity go up. And I think sometimes guys realize that they just have to get three outs, and they're not trying to worry about getting through six or seven innings. You eliminate a couple of pitches, maybe get a little bit sharper with your fastball, and then you cut it loose. One time through the lineup guy. Yeah. I mean, there's a roll for him. Yeah. 
You, know, you look at the Mariners bullpen, I, I guarantee you most of those guys were starters at some point in their career and, and they're out and they're really effective, the best bullpen in the American League. But mm -hmm. you know, we just saw Tom. Tom was a starter at one point. It is a good crew out there. Mariner bullpen. Two balls, two strikes here to Morris. We'll make it do the take here, so full count. He, he's seeing the ball. Don't you think, Jay, his takes, he, he's taking borderline pitches and, and getting himself into some good counts, even off of some tough pitches. Yeah, there's no doubt. I mean, because that's a tough pitch right there. Yeah. Early on, he's swinging it as soon as he sees a movement in the arm or something coming out of the hand. If he goes to the changeup. 3 2 pitch from Buck Holtz. Take him out. Went down in there. That is the first strikeout tonight for Buck Holtz. One out here. MLB.TV Premium. Number one live streaming sports service. Celebrating 12 years. And the millions of subscribers watch every out of market game live in true HD on more than 400 devices. Visit Mariners.com for details. Up Mike Zanino, two run homer in the second, lined out the center in the fourth. Other than a little hiccup in the second inning, Clay's done a pretty good job of settling in yes, he first is. time back. You know, Boston's glad to see this for sure. Colts coming in with a record of two and four and a 7.02 ERA. Last win for Buckholz. Got to go back to May 2nd, 7-1 against Oakland. In back-to-back WC had beaten Toronto in the previous start on April 26, 7-6. Those are his two wins. This pitch. Ball and two strikes. That's going to go foul, but Mike hit it a long way. When <laughs> he hit that a long way. One and two. <laughs> With the rebound from upstairs. Here's the one two. <laughs> Rocky now that's been a good pitch for him. Back to back case. Two away here in the seventh. Bring up Dustin Eckley. He's over two at Grand Mountain and fly out. Sky tonight, absolutely gorgeous. Blues, reds, purples. Good stuff. Foul back. Strike one by. For Dustin Ackley, ground out to second, fly to center. Mariners got their runs in the second inning. A Seeger home run and a two run shot by Zanino. Another routine play for Jackie Bradley Jr. One, two, three, go the Mariners in the eighth. Make that in the seventh. We head to the eighth in a 5 3 Boston lead.
brought to you by Five Hour Energy, recognizing those who, despite their own needs, put others first. By Vern Funk Insurance, bad luck can hit anyone. Insure with the 13th man, Vern Funk Insurance. And by Money Tree, proud to make a donation of Mariners Care for every Mariners win. Beautiful night here in the Pacific Northwest. 5 3 Red Sox. Red Sox trying to salvage a game in this series. Erasmo Ramirez, as we review a roster move, Erasmo sent back to Tacoma, brought up from Tacoma, is Brendan Maurer. He's going to take over. Numbers, yeah, three saves, a 2.79 ERA. He was a starter for the Mariners, went down to Tacoma, they put him in the bullpen, he pitched well, and now he's going to pitch out of the pen. Well, his first hitter is going to be David Ortiz. Two for three. Two run homer in the first. Yeah, right. Two <laughs> run homer in the first. RBI single in the third. Bounced into a double play in the fifth. That in closing, huh? Well, first fastball right there, 96 miles an hour. Back with a good change. It's what I was talking about. When we saw him right. last year in the pen. Any kid we'd come no. in, he was 96, 97 with that kind of changeup. And I think the thing that we've seen with him as a starter is he's trying to throw a curveball and a slider and Same sink his fastball. Yeah. I agree with you. Bring him in for a few hitters or whatever it may be and let him let Man, it go. Look at, that. That. Look, at, look at him. Look at the swag around the side of the mouth. A lot different from yeah. uh, a couple of years ago. Well, maybe when you know you're kind of pitching for your life, that might do it a little bit, huh? Well, maybe go down and reflect a little bit. Good cut fastball right here at 93 miles an hour. Gets it under the hands of Ortiz. Well located pitch in an 0-2 count. I'm going to do a whole lot with that if he does make contact. Mm -hmm. Hit it off his leg. Clear the dugout. Johnny Gomes, a three strikeout night for him. Looking for the sombrero, huh? Throw that slider outside, way out there. One and two. Ninety-nine. Really? Yeah, we saw that from him last year out of the pen. I'm telling you, he he would come in and he has a really good fastball. Strike three, oh. call. <laughs> Back it up to prove it to you, Jay. 99. Oh. I remember talking to some scouts earlier in the year when he was having some trouble. He said, man, he's got good stuff. Is this guy somebody that's going to need to be relocated or you know, put in a bullpen? Well, right now the bullpen's working out quite well. That's pretty filthy. 99, I would say so. Lloyd might have called him in his office and shut the door and said, "You better pitch with your hair on fire, son. Go get him." Well, he, he yes. did last. He did last time he was up here. I bet the day before they sent him down, there's a base hit up the middle. Przinsky. Uh -huh. He won't try to stretch this. One. Let's check it with Angie Mente. Guys, thanks so much. Right now, it's time for our AT and T fan photos of the game. Our AT and T fan photos of the game. It is time. Take a look, and it's uh, of course Mariner sock game at uh, tonight's contest. Lisa showing her brand new socks off, and uh, for a nightly picture of a dog, we've got Max, clearly a big Mariners fan. And finally, the Seahawks militia having a great night at the ballpark, hoping for a Mariners sweep this evening. Tweet your photos using hashtag Mariners fan photo for a chance to be shown in an upcoming broadcast. Oh my gosh, 99, you guys. Wow. It's nice to see him ring it up for strikes. There's Bogarts behind 0 and 1. Last time Mauer was up the day before he got sent down. You talked about oh, okay. him being in Lloyd's office, and that's what happened. Good pitch. 0 and 2. It'll be interesting to see when he walks off the mound, Lloyd. 
I can hear Lou. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> See, that's all. He's working at a really good pace, Mike. Too. He's not yeah, standing. He he's not, you know, walking around in circles or anything. One, two. Morrison coming over. Had it, lost it. And now it goes into the dugout, up into the stands. Now we're even going with the hat cocked a little bit towards first base like Mr. Rodney. Well, if he keeps throwing 99, that's another nice arm and luxury to have coming out of that pen. That's already filthy. 99, really? Oh, thanks for coming. And look at the attitude as you talked about walking yeah. off the mound. Just Strut what you it, were baby. looking for. He's strapped it big time. 5-3 Red Sox. And the rules of wireless restrictions. It's one of the great DHs ever, David Ortiz. Look at that home run on a 2 1 0 pitch, first inning. And an early lead for Boston. He takes Iwakuma deep. Third inning, he hits another ball real hard. This one over the outstretched glove of Romero. That scores a run. So his first two plate appearances, super productive. Two hits and three runs batted in. Since then, he's bounced into a double play and struck out. Heath inning now. Mariners down two. Here's Brad Miller to lead it off. Wade Buckles been outstanding tonight. Here's a high drive, deep right field. That ball is gone. It's a one-run ball game. Five for Boston. As Brad Miller hits his seventh home run. Way to start the eighth inning. I think you need to change that and say he was. Probably that might be it. Well, we've seen Brad the last two nights. He had a seven game hitting streak snap first game of this series, but able to check in last night with a base hit and an RBI. And then he comes up and here's his seventh home run of the year. First pitch fastball right down the middle. These boys are showing some thunder. There's nothing cheap about this one either. This is well back into the seats. Full extension. Brad Miller. John Mariners a little closer. Eight homered five days ago in Kansas City. This oh, one driven man. deep to left. Yeah. But it's going to slice and Johnny Gomes hangs with it. Makes the catch. <laughs> you were talking about it earlier. Some of the plays he makes in left field. How'd that sound, Jay? Pretty piercing. <laughs> Sounded crispy. I like it. Looks even better. Third home run hit tonight by the Mariners. Seeger a leadoff homer in the second. 
Zanino in the second a two run homer. And now Miller here in the eighth. Battle for it. And Johnny Gomes stays with that hooking drive and makes the catch. <laughs> and that'll do it for Clay Buckholtz. He's going to leave with a 5 4 lead here in the eighth. His first game back coming off the DL. Making a 5-4 ball game. We take a look at our Columbia Bank difference of the game. And how about Buckholz, boys? Not nice performance coming off the DL. Well, I thought he pitched well tonight. The Mariners, though, showing some power. He ended up giving up three home runs. That's the way that they've stayed in the game. But overall, he pitched well. He was able to locate. I thought he was sharper than I expected coming off the disabled list. Seven in the third, seven hits, four runs, all of them earned. Did not walk anybody. Two strikeouts, 76 pitches for him, 55 of those for strikes. Willie Blomquist is going to pinch hit for Indy Chavez. And be the first batter for reliever Andrew Miller. And Willie caught in between, strike one. Andrew Miller, like... Seeger and Ackley, a product of the University of North Carolina. And he's pitched well, 48 strikeouts and 30 and a third. Miller leadoff homer of Merrill. Bidding for a base hit. Robbed by Johnny Gomes and now 1 1 to Willie. One. Well, he's done a nice job, hadn't he? He's played well. 278 batting average. Do a lot of things for you. He's played a lot of positions. Carries a lot of gloves, that's for sure. Interesting defense. You would expect him to hit the ball the other way. Willie's done that a lot this year, but there's a huge hole back up the middle. <laughs> How about that left center gap? It's a triple. Cole Gillespie on deck. He'll pinch hit for James Jones. Strike three call. Two outs. Now Cole Gillespie. He'll pinch hit for Jones. Willie caught looking. Breaking ball for strike. Oh. 
That's that little backdoor breaking ball, doesn't he? Only two. Those Miller numbers are impressive. Two outs and an 0-2 pitch. Nobody on. Foul off. Ninety-six. Is that right? Boy, that's that's Still tough. throws hard. That's tough too, because you know that little backdoor breaking ball lulls you to sleep. Backdoor breaking ball. Next thing you know, rush it in there with ninety-six on the inside corner. Mm-hmm. And then the next one, try to cut it back down and in on that back foot like a lot of lefties. That's a tough pitch for a right hander to lay off of. Six foot seven, Andrew Miller. And his big league career with the Florida Marlins. He's 0 2 here to Gillespie. Good take right there. Another guy that's stepped up and done a nice job for Lloyd off the bench. Off to a little bit of a slow start when he was first called up, but since then he got hot, didn't he? he there did. For a while, he did. Andrew Miller comes in and blows away Blumquist and Gillespie. Mariners do drop closer. It's 5-4 Boston. To live action, Stephen Drew grounds out, one away. Brandon Maurer pitched in the eighth. Here he is pitching to Bradley with one out. After Drew grounded out to Cano. Double back and a third and a run scored for Bradley. Brandon Maurer recalled earlier today from Tacoma. On two strikes. 
Oji Yohara, hero in the World Series last year. He's been outstanding. He's got 15 saves. Sox closer. in the bottom of the ninth we'll have Cano Seeger and Morris in three four and five but first things first here one two right field for Romero two away Cole Gillespie is in center field now pinch hit for Jones and stayed in at center your young all-stars can take home a poster five-time all-star Robinson Cano when they head to the ballpark on Sunday to see the Mariners and the Indians at 110 Poster of the Mariners second baseman is free to all kids thanks to Aquafina. Pick up your tickets for the whole family right now at Mariners.com. Robbie will be leading off in the bottom of the ninth. Oh, Red Sox fans who haven't heard much from the last two nights with the Mariners out scoring them 20 to 5 are now being a lot more vocal here in the ninth with a one run lead. Been impressive. The most aggressive stretch I think we've seen from him, right? 22 pitches, 18 strikes, and he's basically doing with a really good fastball. He's topped out at 99, throwing a cutter up there about 90, 91. That's what I like right there is the fact he's moving their feet and getting them off the plate. He's pitching aggressively, pitching with an attitude, which you have to have, otherwise, you're going to get your brains beat in at this level. Mark hold a two hit night swing and a miss. Yeah. Brandon Mauer, what a comeback. Four strikeouts in this outing tonight. They keep it a 5 4 ball game. Bottom nine, Robinson Cano, Kyle Seeger, Logan Morrison. That maybe will be a combination. Get a couple and get out of here with a sweep. Tie and two to win here in the bottom of the ninth. And don't forget this Friday is the new 4th of July. Mariners once again lighting up the sky here at Safe Go Field. Fireworks night presented by Moving 92.5. Fans, you're going to see a great fireworks show, so come on out. It's right after the Mariners and the Indians tilt on Friday. So get your tickets. Fireworks night. Log on to Mariners.com. Dave Sims, Mike Flowers, Jay Buner here. The Root Sports crew and Koji O'Hara takes over. He's the Red Sox closer, and he's got three, four, and five. Heart of the order for the Mariners here in the name. 35th appearance on the year, 15 saves and 16 opportunities. He's pitched well, 1.30 ERA, 44 strikeouts, only four walks. He has given up five home runs this year. We're talking about fireworks. Let's uh, have a little fireworks right now. Gave it up on Saturday at Oakland. Late in the ball game, couple home runs, and the A's came back to win. Let's see what gives here tonight. 
Well, 44 strikeouts and just four walks. He's going to be around the plate. Four and one record last year. 21 saves. Your Harris first pitch to Cano. All one. Bouncing ball. Here's Pedroia. Throw away. Throws out. Cano one away. In the World Series last year, five games, four and two thirds innings, two hits, no runs, no walks, struck out three. There's Kyle Seeger. Shut out the crowd. They're into it. Nobody's standing up on their feet. I like that. We can use another one right now. Seeger, 1-1 one, one count. Two balls, one strike to Seeger. Let's see, you are right. He does not throw hard. He's been 80 81. Just trying to sink the ball off the outside corner. You have to try to get him to elevate something. Like that. And hard base hit, right field. Tying runs aboard. You're the best, Michael. How do you do it? Well, Kyle's pretty good. Kyle's Three. third hit of the ball game. Exactly. He gets a pitch up, 80 miles an hour, gets it up in the zone. And the Red Sox, they had the shift on. Kyle hits it right through the ship. Time to give Logan Morrison. Be a hero, Jay? What do you think? You called it, man. Yeah. Off. In between Off innings, yeah, that was going to be a like two run over by two Morrison. Run bomb right here. And he's had a good series, six for 10 in the series. Something tells me he's going to square something up. He has really been dialed in. Logan Morrison. Crowd on its feet. 27,333. First pitch from Yohara. All one. Ooh. It's all right. You catch a break every now and then, Jay. Because <laughs> <laughs> he wasn't looking in there. <laughs> I like it, though. He's not trying to yank first pitch. That's good. Well, the Red Sox have the shift on again. 1-0 here to Morrison. 2-0. Uh-oh. Flashbacks to Oakland. Here we go. Crowd's feeling it, too. It's pretty nice to see, huh? Everybody standing up into the game. Some nice change. Fans rooting on this young team. Know they're on a nice little hot streak. 2-0 pitch. Takes no. for a ball three. No sir. Fish on biting. Mike Zanino on deck. Zanino hit his 11th home run, and he's homeward in four out of his last five starts. Vote and Jason homeward on Saturday at Oakland to beat Yorahara. Tied the game and on and lost it. Here's a 3 0. Oh, oh. <laughs> he tried to win that ball game, didn't he? That hurt, that hurt my back. Well, if you're going to swing 3 0, you better turn it loose and get the barrel out there. 89 miles an hour. Three and one. Morrison's aboard. Tying run at second. <laughs> and a winning run at first. The hitter's going to be Mike Zanino.
Mike Zanino, a two-run homer in the second inning, lined out the center in the fourth, and a strikeout in the seventh. I'll go ahead and tie for the team lead right here. Why not? Well, Kyle's out at second base. I don't think he would mind. First pitch to Mike Z. Ooh. Strike one. Good location right there. Leave it up right here. Oh, and one to Mike. Two on, one out. Popped oh. it up. Oh, man. And that's out of play. <laughs> that, that was there. That was yeah. there. Yeah. No, that pitch was up for him. And it was in, something that he could handle. And it looked like he put a good swing on it and just missed it. Take a look at this pitch. Just a little bit elevated. Mm -hmm. Just a little up. <laughs> Can I have that back, please? 0 oh, 2 hole here. Oh, boy, wear it. Well, the one thing we know about Mike is he's not going to move out of the way. Tying run at second, winning run at first. Well, one out. played either. No. <laughs> One two pitch to Mike. Oh. Came out. It's a good pitch. Two outs. Same location as the first pitch. Little paint fastball running mm -hmm. away. And he knew it. Dustin Ackley is going to be the last hope here for the Mariners. And he could use a little attitude adjuster right here. A big knock for the ball club right here. Big knock for him. Ackley tonight. Brown out to second. Fly to center and a fly to center. 0 for 3. Foul tip. Strike one. Slow it down, buddy. Breathe. 0 for the series. <laughs> Split, 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 huh? We'll probably keep going right there. But then again, throw it away and let's get him on second and third. Oh, one pitch. Oh. Try to. Oh. Come on, AJ. Let it go through the wickets. <laughs> He's been in this league for a long time <laughs> for that reason right there. That is a pretty good block right yeah. there. Seager at it second, Morrison at first, two away. And a 1 1 count to Ackley. Your hire is ready. 1 1. No. Again, off the plate, two balls, one strike. That's a good take, man. Good pitch. Ackley hasn't homered since May 11th against Kansas City. I like it. Good vibes, sending good vibes down. Try to win their sixth consecutive ball game. What do you think? Seeing what he wants to throw, changing up the, the pitch count. Maybe first pitch, second pitch, first sign, second sign. Who knows? You never know anymore, but just playing to see maybe that Kyle might be relaying. Actually, a game winner on Saturday night in Kansas City, 2 1. Get to, get to you are how will he get there? Ackley got him. That's a ball game. There goes the Mariners five game win streak. And Boston wins for just the second time in the last seven games, salvaging a game here in this series 5-4 final. Well, the Mariners consistently behind in this one, but kept fighting. Beats him by a step and had a chance here in the ninth to at least tie the ball game up. Dustin running hard the entire way. Too bad. Looked like he had a base hit in the hole right there. That was there. a nice play. Yeah, it was a good play.
Iwakuma struggling again. Two outings in a row for him. Just four innings for him. Five earned runs. And that's after his outing in Kansas City where it was five and five. So he needs to get things figured out for the Mariners. He goes to five and four now. Boys, enjoy your day off tomorrow. We'll be back here on Friday. Cleveland Indians in town. Time now for the Mariners postgame. Brad and Bill. Fellas? Well, Dave, gentlemen, they